Hi, today we'll be talking about LibreView. This is the desktop app that comes with your uh, Freestyle Libre. And so this is your continuous glucose monitor from Abbott that reads your blood glucose level continuously. And so you can use this desktop app. There is also a mobile app or a handheld monitor that pairs with it. And so we'll walk through kind of the highlights of this online desktop so that way you can understand how to read your data and how to take notes to share with your healthcare provider during your appointments. So you'll go to LibreView.com and this is the home screen that you'll see. You'll be able to log in. If you don't have an account yet, you can go ahead and click sign up. It's a very easy process. You just need an email. So I already have an account, so I will log in. So the next page it takes you to is your upload page. So first thing you'll need to do is if you haven't already, download the LibreView device driver software. So this is a software that will download to your computer that will allow your computer to communicate with your Freestyle Libre. If you already have that downloaded and installed, once you plug in your Freestyle Libre, you would just need to press begin to upload. And you'll see it'll take you to another screen that'll show the upload beginning. Once that uploads, it'll take you to this next screen that I will show you. Some other things to highlight, if you're having issues with uploading your data from your Freestyle Libre to your computer, there are some tips here that can help you figure out how to troubleshoot connecting your Freestyle Libre. The, you do have to use the cable that comes with your handheld monitor. So any USB um, cable will not work. It has to be that specific cable. So don't throw it away. There are some other information here. If the cable is not the issue, um, there's some other troubleshooting tips and tricks that you can also check out. If you don't use your handheld monitor that comes with your sensor, there are mobile apps that you can use, but they only work on certain phones. So there is a list here of supported devices. So you can see if your phone is one of the devices that are supported by the Freestyle Libre mobile app. So once you upload your, in, your Freestyle Libre sensor and um, monitor, it'll show you this next page. So it'll show you your results. At the very top here, you can select how to view your data. So each sensor lasts 14 days, but after those 14 days, this is where you can see all your past history from your other sensors. So you can look at one week, two weeks, three weeks, four, 60 days, and 90 days. And so we'll go and look at 90 days. So it'll show you your 90 days um, average glucose. So for mine, this is my example, it was 147. It'll show you percent of data. So how many days of data was your sensor able to collect? And it also will show you how many hypoglycemia events you had. So these are events where your sugar levels went below a threshold and it shows you a graph. And so this graph on the Y axis here on the left hand side is the blood glucose levels. So my example goes from zero to 350 milligrams per deciliter. And it'll show you what your thresholds are that you have set on your handheld monitor or on your mobile app. And so my thresholds are 70 for low and 180 for my high. And so you can see here, this blue line is my average glucose level. And so it's been for the most part between 70 and 180. So that's your percent in range and the shaded area, that shaded area, that gray part just shows your uh, fifth to 95th percent intervals. So that just says, this is your average, but here's the lowest and then here's the highest. And so you'll see that for several months and on the right-hand side, if you wanna look at a specific month, you can just click on that one month and it'll show you all the information from that month on. 
some of the other options that you can look at are glucose reports. So this is just kind of a bird's eye view overview of what your data looks like. But if you click on glucose reports, it takes you to a report that essentially is what your doctor would see. And this is what they would print out and walk you through during one of your appointments. So, and this is a PDF. So you can print and save this if you wanna print it and bring it with you to your doctor's appointment, or if you wanna give it to a caregiver to discuss, um, make any changes, this is a great option to do. And so what you'll see in this PDF is your average glucose uh, report. And so it shows you kind of similar information for the past 14 days, the amount of time that your continuous glucose monitor was active, what your parameters were, what your average glucose was, and then it also shows you your time and range. And so this is something that you'll talk with your healthcare provider about what percent you were in target range above or below in order to kind of see if there's any necessary changes that you need to make to your medication or any lifestyle changes. At the bottom, you'll see some more glucose profiles. So again, showing you kind of what your average glucose has been, what your percentiles and ranges have been, and then again, that target range that you set, and mine is 70 to 180. It also gives you profiles that are more specific in time. So you can look at specific days, and then you can also see specific hours. So it shows 12 a.m., 12 p.m., and then 12 a.m. for the next day. And so you can kind of see your, where your daily spikes are. You can see when you go above your high threshold. So anything shaded in yellow shows when you were above that target range. On the left-hand side of the report, you'll see here there's a bunch of different options that you can click through and kind of get to see your data a little bit more. So we'll look at glucose pattern insights. And this kind of shows you a little more of a deep dive into that last graph that we saw. So again, you have your glucose levels on the left-hand side here going from zero to 350. It shows you what your target range is on these darker bold lines, and then what your actual data was. If you do see a break in the data here, that could be that your sensor was not working, or it could be this is when you changed your sensor. So the end of one sensor, the beginning of another. So this blue line as labeled here is your median or your average glucose levels. And so this really helps you kind of understand when you're spiking throughout the day. Um, you can see the times at the top. And so it's very important that your um, handheld monitor has the correct time. So keep in mind daylight savings, so that way it's accurate. But you can also on your handheld monitor or in your mobile app, mark when you're eating your meals. So for example, here I had breakfast around eight o'clock. I had lunch exactly at noon. And then I usually have dinner around 6 p.m. And so you can see around lunchtime, I kind of have a little spike in my sugar levels. Then it comes down and well, then there was a break. And so you can mark this information and this is helpful for your doctor to see with when you're eating your meals and what that's looking like in response with your uh, blood glucose levels. Some other options here are monthly summaries. So this is just kind of a really quick month view of what your sugars were throughout this month. So for the month of November, this past November, I can see what my average glucose was on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for that month. Um, what you'll see here is how many times you actually scanned your sensor. So with the Freestyle Libre, with the hand monitor, you need to actually hold it up to your sensor to scan it, to scan that transmitter. And it tells you here how many times you checked. And so you do need to scan it every eight hours in, the, in order to get all the information off of your sensor. So here I can see I only scanned it once that day. And so 
that's a good reminder for me to kind of check in with myself and make sure that I am scanning it the right amount of times that I need. So at least around meal times or at least every eight hours. And so if there's any gaps in the data, again, that could be because you didn't have a sensor on or your sensor wasn't working. So this also helps you understand if there were any errors with your sensor. The daily log is a deep dive into the individual days. So it shows you one page at a time. So you just click here to see page two, page three, and page four. And so for example, on page three, we see Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can see when I had meals, when I marked and logged my meals shown by these little apples. You see my average glucose again in this blue line. And it also shows when you have a high that's above your threshold. So my threshold for my high is set at 180. And so I had a glucose reading that was at 219. So it was above that and so it marks it for you. And so this is something that your healthcare provider can see and exact, see exactly how many times you were out of range above your highest threshold. There are some other um, options here that you can see. So snapshot is kind of like that quick overview that we saw on the homepage. It also shows you some of the notes that you've taken. So if you've logged any carb entries, if you've logged when you had insulin, it'll show here what information you put in, either in your monitor or on your mobile app. Mealtime patterns, this is a pretty cool page because it shows you not only when you log, but it breaks it down by mealtime. And so this is, can be really helpful to see what you're eating and how your blood sugar is responding to that. So if you need to make any changes, this is gonna be the page that you can talk to your healthcare provider about maybe seeing a nutritionist if you need to make any adjustments or just seeing overall what types of foods your, and how your body responds to those foods. There's also the weekly summary. So we've seen the month, kind of the monthly summary, and this just breaks it down to a weekly summary. And then there's also device details. So this tells you information about your sensor and daily patterns. So in the weekly summary and monthly summary, you can see those patterns, but here it kind of shows you for one average day, what does your blood glucose levels kind of look like? And so you can, again, adjust it here to see how much data you wanna see. You can download all your data. Some other options here to know is your report preferences. And so if you go to the Freestyle Libre here on the left-hand side, you can select what information you want to show up in your reports. For glucose patterns, if you want, say for example, you've just adjusted a medication. So you take a new medication in the morning. So you want to really focus in on, okay, I need to know exactly what my blood glucose levels are doing right after I take this medication, right after breakfast. So you can log here exactly what times you want to look at, and you can adjust what time your meal times are, and you can adjust what your median goal is. So what do you want your blood sugar to be on average? And what your low glucose allowance is. So you would just save that. And you can do that for pretty much most of these options. So when you print out that report, It'll show you not all the data because that can be overwhelming, but only what you want to see and what you need to see. So that's the desktop app. If you have any questions, there are some tips and tricks on the Freestyle Libre's website that we can go through, and I will make sure to share here. <laughs>